Howdy. E-man, your E-chef. Last night we had a beautiful roast chicken. And today I'm going to give this carcass another life. If you haven't made your own stock, it's a really simple way to create something that's better than what you would ever buy at the store. And I'm going to give you a real simple way to do it. All right, let's go ahead. What I'm going to use in this stock is simply the carcass. And I've got all the bones, leftover skin, and any of the reduced fat that was uh, left in the bottom of the roasting pan. A large leek. With the leek, you cut and clean so that you make sure that there's no organic process from the farm left. A yellow onion. I like the yellow onion because it'll add color. Garlic. Some peppercorns. I'm going to add my own mix of uh, crushed peppers. I have about six small carrots that I cut up. And I don't have any celery, but I like to use celery seed. I'm going to strain the stock so it won't have any of the remnants left in it. I'm going to add salt, of course, and then some Chardonnay. And, and that's what's going to make it a lot better than what you buy at the store. All right. So I'm going to add about a half a liter of wine to my stock base. And that's just three and a half quarts cold water. And then I'm going to add my chicken carcass. And the fat, chicken fat, is what's going to give that beautiful golden color that we always want. This is simple. Drop in your onions and your leek. Carrots. Celery seed. Salt. Three good pinches will do. Peppercorns. Give them a quick crush. Love that smell. Mmm. The secret pepper mix. And then crush the garlic the edge of the knife that just breaks open the cloves my pot looks a little full but it's gonna cook down and reduce and that's what we're looking for so we're gonna bring it to a boil now and then we'll see you in a bit hey E-Man back, and I've been checking on my chicken stock. I'll let you know. About an hour ago, I tasted it, and I decided to add the rest of the bottle of wine. That's just the way I like it. You can do it the way you like it. So you can see here, my pot overflowing greens, leeks is cooked down nicely. As I mentioned, I did add the rest of the wine to it, but I've got some large body items that need to be filtered out. I use a roasting pan, very easy, and a colander. First clue about pouring hot items, never tip them towards yourself. And there's that. I'm going to take this large container of stuff out to the compost and we'll be back to filter out the finer stuff. All right, now that I've taken my waste to the compost, I've added my stock to a smaller, more manageable container, and I'm going to do my final filter. The filter I'm going to use is 
called the China Hat. It's a cone-shaped filter. And what I have inside is a grease filter that is that I use because it does pick up all the finer sediments. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to take the stock, set it in the sink. The sink is full of ice and water that will help cool it down and then into the fridge. This will separate the fat as it floats to the top. Super easy to peel it off or it's even a way to preserve it if you're going to keep it in the fridge. See you in a bit. All right, here we are again. We're just going to finish up the chicken stock. And you'll be ready to make soup. If you look at the soup, the mixture, there is a, just a skin on the top. And I use just a slotted spatula. It's very easy for me to reach in and peel it up. I put it onto a paper towel. You can see there. Because I could put that in the compost. Now that we've peeled the fat off, let's bottle and store. You just use a simple mason jar in your ladle. And without doing anything else, you can keep that in the fridge for about a week to 10 days. Another way I really like to store my chicken broth is in individually frozen pieces. I'll pour it in there, set this tray into my freezer, and then put the individual frozen nuggets of stock into a freezer bag. And that, my friends, is really all you need to do. Just have frozen individual portions of stock, jars of stock that you keep in the fridge, and what I have left is dinner tonight because it makes an awesome soup. Peace, love, good food. Here comes the family walking down the street.